صوت قارئ الفنجان في ذلك المطعم الإيراني منتصف السبعينات يتهادى إلى مسمع الأمريكية ليزا الحلبي المجازة في فن العمارة وتخطيط المدن من جامعة برينستون لقد أكد لها أنها ستعود إلى الجزيرة العربية عروسا لرجل أرستقراطي جدا من بلاد أجدادها فارس أحلام لم يأتها على حصانه العربي الأصيل بل جاءته هي على بساط ريح طائرة لقد كانت عائدة إلى الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية بعد انتهاء فترة عملها في طهران ولكن اتصالا من والدها نجيب الحلبي الموجود في الأردن لافتتاح فرع لشركته المتخصصة في طيران المدني بدل وجهة سيرها ومجرى حياتها لم تحملها الطائرة إلى الولايات المتحدة بل نحو جذور وطن أول أعمق أصالة وأنبض تاريخ إلى الأردن وصلت حاملة مع الحداثة وثقافة الغرب فكان اللقاء أبديا مع المغفور له الحسين بن طلال ملك الأصالة والحداثة والأفكار التقدمية لقاؤنا الليلة هو قصة لقائي بصاحبة الجلالة الملكة نور الحسين التي شكلت مع زوجها الملك الحسين بن طلال ثنائيا أشبه بجناحين لحمامة سلام في منطقة كانت تغلي بالاضطرابات والخطر لقاء فريد في المرة الأولى عبر محطة عربية تطل هذه الملكة الاستثنائية التي تشيع بكاريزما فريدة وأناقة لافتة ورشاقة دائمة وابتسامة ساحرة لقاء حورب قبل أن يتم فالمحاولة الأولى لإجرائه تعود إلى عام 2003 من خلال برنامج السابق وراء الوجوه ولكن قبيل السفر إلى واشنطن لتصوير المقابلة تم إيقاف البرنامج لمدة عشرة أشهر بعد معاودة المفاوضات تمكننا من إجراء الحوار الذي تم قبل عامين في قصرها الجميل باب السلام الذي تحول عنوانا لحوارنا المقابلة تمت ولكننا لم نتخيل عندما تأخرنا عن موعد الطائرة في تلك الليلة واضطر فريق العمل الكبير الذي رافقني من بيروت إلى المبيت في عمان أن موعد بث اللقاء سيتأخر بدوره وأن المقابلة الفريدة ستبيت بدورها سنتين في الأدراج بسبب حملة سرية شنت بشكل مستتر لمنع كبرى المحطات العربية والمحلية من اقتناء وعرض هذه المقابلة الفريدة ولكن بما أن من المستحيل حجب نور الشمس عادت وأشرقت الملكة نور على شعبها العربي من محطة عربية ومن خلال حلقتنا الليلة نسترجع بعضا من محطات حياة مبللة بدموع الفرح عند الانتصارات وبسمة الأمل عند الإخفاقات حياة بنتها والملك الحسين معا بضمير حي فجاءت حافلة بالإنجازات الإنسانية والاجتماعية والثقافية والسياسية والعاطفية إنجازات شاهدة دائما على أصالة لا تموت وقبل أن نفتح معكم باب السلام وندخل قصر الذكريات نتوقف مع فاصل لقاؤنا اليوم مع ضيفة استثنائية إنها ليزا المرأة ونور الحسين الملكة والأرملة الرمز إنها الزوجة والأم ورفيقة الدرب والنضال والعمل السياسي والاجتماعي والإنساني والإنمائي One very simple ordinary person who has um, been blessed with extraordinary uh, opportunities and, and joys and, and uh, the challenges that motivate one or just trying to make a positive difference in the world. في قصر باب السلام استقبلتنا قبل عامين في قصر لا يزال يشع بحضور سيده وملكه. We celebrate his life 
and uh, I, I think for all the family, this house we feel is illuminated by his life, his spirit, um, and his eternal presence. رغم رحيله حضور الملك الحسين طاغ في باب السلام في الأردن وفي المنطقة التي عمل خلال مسيرته كلها من أجل إحلال السلام فيها فهو زعيم قاد بلاده عبر النزاعات والاضطرابات إلى أن حولها واحة استقرار واعتدال في الشرق الأوسط وطبعا يحز في قلب نور الحسين اليوم رؤية أن ما عمل من أجله مليكها طوال حياته مهدد بالخطر I see such deepening socioeconomic um, divisions, sectarian divisions, political um, uh, divisions, and, and increasingly hard line and, and intolerant um, forces at play that I feel are sapping the, 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 the energy, the positive energy, the creative um, energy. There was a moment of great hope in the 1990s when um, statesmen uh, like King Hussein, um, like Yitzhak Rabin, and others who had lived through so much turmoil and so much conflict um, were, were trying to, to look to what legacy were they going to leave for the next generation. Was it going to be a perpetual standoff or confrontation between um, societies who the mainstream of both were yearning for peace, were searching for peace, understood the accommodations that had to be made for peace, but the politicians and political parties were in fact pulling um, uh, the, the, the process away from resolution, or could they transcend those um, different competing interests and work for what was better for all in the region. And they recognize that for any state to live in security in this region, all states had to live in security. Since um, the loss of, of the two leaders I mentioned and, and um, different political forces that have, have come to power, um, we, we've lost a lot of momentum, we've lost a lot of goodwill, um, there has been considerably greater suffering um, and there have been the added dimensions of the war in Afghanistan, the war in Iraq, and more uh, foreign forces um, located in our region, and more sectarian divides that are being exploited by, from outside the region, as I th and I think as well from within the region, to try to realign um, the region, in t again, in, a, in polarized uh, in a way that polarizes different communities living in the region. I think this is terribly dangerous. I think it's very short-sighted. لقد عمل الملك طوال عمره من أجل السلام في المنطقة. وطبعاً تخاف نور الحسين عندما ترى سلام المنطقة على شفير الهاوية. هاوية سحيقة بحجم جرح لبنان في حرب يوليو من العام 2006. I was in the United States at the time and um, and horrified and um, disgusted by what I saw actually taking place in terms of the human toll, in terms of the um, national toll in, in, in Lebanon, but also in terms of the broader repercussions um, and potential cons consequences for our larger region, but also but what I saw in the United States. Um, and I was very vocal and outspoken during that period of time, uh, very frustrated that very few voices were discussing what was taking place, that political leaders were, were avoiding the issue entirely. It's a reflection of the political dynamics in the United States where um, most of the political leaders in the country are afraid to talk about um, Arab-Israeli issues in any kind of balanced way. It's as strong today, it seems to me, as it was in decades past. That terrible tragedy has been exploited to try to sow sectarian uh, discord and divisions within our larger region among different communities. And that is unnatural and again terribly, terribly dangerous for the future. المستقبل من دون الحسين لا يخيفها. لأنها تستمد من مبادئه القوة 
لإكمال مسيرته ولكن محاولة تغييب ما آمن به دائما هو ما يقلقها فعلا I know that King Hussein um, who, who believed and demonstrated in, throughout his work, his reign and his, in his personal life as well as in his, his public life the importance of inclusion, of dialogue of respecting one another no matter what differences of opinion there might be and only through that approach could we arrive at solutions I, I see the absence of that today and it deeply concerns me معن ويدا بيد عاملة من أجل خير وإفادة مجتمعهما العربي اليوم تتابع الملكة المسيرة ومليكها معها بالروح كما دائما Since his death I have continued areas that I was involved prior that could be considered political in, in my um, working with uh, decision makers in a variety of, of, of different countries on a, a range of different issues. Uh, first and foremost, of, co- of course, closest to my heart, trying to promote better understanding of, of uh, in, the, in the West in particular, of, of the realities on the ground in, 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 in our region. So I, I continue in advocating on a variety of humanitarian and disarmament and, and other peace-building issues with heads of state and um, other countries around the world so in trying to promote um, politics at the grassroots level, um, participatory decision-making. And uh, we introduced through the Nora Hussein Foundation probably the first um, development programs helped um, to promote a better understanding among young people about uh, the principles of of, um, of participatory decision making, of, of um, f- uh, human rights, of basic uh, freedoms, and and, um, um, and and other issues that are part of um, a political learning process. Um, I've also that's also obviously an important part. So at all levels, I've maintained um, uh, activity without ever, I hope, I pray, becoming a politician because that. Um, uh, that, that, that I haven't seen as the most constructive role that people can play in the political lives of their countries. في عائلتها المرأة والرجل متساويان وحرية الاختيار مقدسة. لذلك لم تربيها أسرتها على دين معين وإنما تركت لها الحرية في هذا المجال. ولهذا السبب لم تجد هي المسيحية أي صعوبة في اعتناق الإسلام. أيضا. نور الحسين لا تجد صعوبة في شرح أن الأديان كافة الأديان تجمع بينما السياسة وحدها هي التي تفرق الإيمان يجمع والأصولية تفرق. Religion is not an ideology. Religion is a faith and 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 um, a, a system. I don't know any religion that is um, an ideology that believes that it, it is the only. Um, uh, belief system that anyone should have or that requires that everyone has to believe only what that system teaches. Um, in Islam, let there be no compulsion in, in religion. I mean, um, extremism needs to be uh, defined away, I think, from our faiths and our religions. Our religion is being exploited by political ideologues to accomplish political purposes rather than sp- spiritual purposes. I make a distinction between extremism and fundamentalism. And I make a, a distinction between um, the many different shades of belief among Muslims, Christians, Jews, and others uh, yeah, in, this in is the, the way world. It is but when we're talking about a militant, extremist, uh, political movement, that is not religion. That, that is, uh, and throughout history, we have seen religion used as a, ju- as a justification for doing very, very irreligious acts. There is no clash of religions or of civilizations, but I do believe that there is a, a fundamental clash between intolerant um, um, ideological powers and the um, majority aspirations in all our societies to live in peace and security, um, to live according to fundamental values and, and um, uh, aspirations that in fact are shared by the, th- 
mem the, the, the children of Abraham, the three monotheistic faiths. There's a rich texture of difference and similarity in our faiths and, and in our cultures as well. And none of our cultures or faiths teaches us to shun the other. In fact, um, it is in, in our faiths that I think we can find the foundation for living um, in peace together and benefiting, you know, finding the, the, the ways in which we can, our faiths and cultures can mutually benefit and, and, uh, and, and inspire us. I think the media has a very important role to play, um, and, and it has to date, I think, not played a constructive role. In, in many cases, um, media I imagery um, exacerbates um, ignorance and stereotypes. صحيح للإعلام دور كبير يلعبه في إزالة الجهل وهل هناك منصة إعلامية أفضل من سيرة ذاتية قدمتها الملكة في كتاب حمل اسم وثبة إيمان ليزيل جهل الكثيرين بحقيقة الدور الذي لعبه الملك الحسين بن طلال في قلب منطقته ووطنه وعائلته Uh, that drove me to write. I'd never planned to write an autobiography, certainly not at, at what I consider to be a young age. <laughs> um, and, you know, I thought maybe when I'm old and, you know, in my 80s or something, if I'm blessed to live that long. But um, sure. after the death of my husband and having struggled by his side for so long to promote... Um, better understanding of our region, uh, of its people, of um, the, the context for the politics that were not, that, that that's, were dividing rather than, than um, finding the, 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 the solutions necessary to grasp. Uh, I felt that his search for peace was not well understood within his own community, let alone Um, in the West, and that that story, um, historically as well as in you know the more recent um, decades of effort, needed to be better understood. Um, in in order, I hoped for um, decision makers in the United States to be held accountable for um, for, for the policies uh, in the region, which could either promote peace and promote consensus building and dialogue and, and uh, the kind of accountability on all sides of the Arab-Israeli divide in particular that is necessary if you're going to, to achieve peace or not. Um, I also felt that Jordan and, and, um, uh, and, the, and the Arab and the Muslim world had so little understanding, so much ignorance, so many stereotypes um, so prevalent in, in the West that my story could be one vehicle for helping people to understand perhaps a little bit more and then perhaps to, to be inspired to reach out for more information, mm -hmm. to read more, to, to seek out other sources. Uh, so I was motivated to a great extent by a, a feeling of responsibility to my husband, to his work for peace and to whatever modest way I could contribute to trying to advance an understanding of that in the broader world. Leap of Faith, a Wathma to Iman, Kitab أوصل رسالته فقد قرأه معظم العرب باللغتين الفرنسية والإنجليزية وترجم إلى ستة عشر لغة وكان الأكثر مبيعا حول العالم. I actually knew that my book, which I had primarily written to read, reach as broad as possible a Western audience, um, so that as as broad a spectrum of people might have a better understanding of my world, of, the, of Jordan, of the Arab world, of, of uh, the search for peace. So I knew in the book there was a, a little bit of something for many different kinds of people, but I didn't know if it was a book that would have an audience, you know, that there might just be a little bit here for this group or that, but it might not be a book for anybody um, in, 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 in its whole form. So I was quite stunned. I had never thought about bestseller lists or the, um, I had hoped it might have a meaningful impact on a few, on a few lives and I was very gratified. I am very gratified that it continues to have an enduring impact. مع وثبة إيمان الذي أثر بالناس نختم القسم الأول من حلقتنا على أن نتسلل إلى حنايا القلب 
الذي يؤثر أكثر بالناس في الجزء الثاني بعد الفاصل نداء الشرق الأوسط والجذور التي لطالما حلمت بها الأمريكية ليزا الحلبي كان قويا ولكن ليس بقوة الحب الذي لمعك فلاش كاميرا في العام 1976 على أرض مطار عمان يومها كانت تزور والدها الموجود في الأردن فجأة وصل الملك واقترب منهما للتحية فدفع نجيب الحلبي بالكاميرا بين يدي ابنته وقال لها التقط لي صورة مع الملك ولم تلتقط ليزا بعد ذلك نفسها فقد جرت الأمور بسرعة وتشقلبت حياتها رأسا على عقب فالطائرة أوصلت الأمريكية الحسناء فورا إلى قلب ملك شاب ملوح بسمرة بلاده وعزة تاريخه العربي وأجمل اللقاءات تلك التي تتم صدفة ورغما عن أنف حركة الزمن والمسافات والشرق والغرب I had lived in the Arab world. I had actually lived and worked in Iran for almost a year before I came to the Arab world for a Brit- uh, an urban planning firm. Uh, and then I had lived in the Arab world for a year and a half or almost two years before I married. So I, I'd had an interesting composite uh, a- 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 of impressions of, a- of the region. And I had immediately felt at home in Jordan um, from, I think I describe in my book, from the moment I first, uh, my first flight in, uh, just approaching the country from the air, because I felt a part of it because of my family coming from this region, never felt alien. الملك فتح لها قلبه والشعب الأردني كله فتح لها ذراعيه مرحبا حتى بعد رحيد الملك لم ترحل محبة الأردنيين لنور الحسين التي تشكل بنظرهم تكملة لنهجه. The overwhelming feeling that I received was of being welcomed back into the Arab family. Uh, a Halabi returned to, to the Arab world and that was the most extraordinary um, gift to me uh, and only out Um, outdone by the extraordinary gift of faith and love shown to me by the people of Jordan when my husband passed away, who reached out to me as if, as if I could be an extension of him, which was the greatest honor ever in my life. مثل السندريلا تحولت بين ليلة وضحاها من فتاة عادية إلى ملكة متوجة على قلب الملك وعرش الأردن. حياتها مع أسطورة. غير متوقع. Every part of my life has been unexpected, um, and I there have been some extraordinary. Um, I've been blessed in extraordinary ways. I have um, been offered uh, unimaginable opportunities to serve as I had hoped from. a young child in, in the public sphere. I've had some extraordinary experiences and um, I, I, uh, I couldn't say what it was more. The least expected was King Hussein asking me to marry him. Absolutely. I never dreamt of being a, a, a royal. كمعظم العشاق كانت لديهما أغانيهما المفضلة مثل أغنية Take a chance on me لفريق الأبا التي كان يغنيها لها الملك فيذوب قلبها. ومعا كان يستمعان لجوني ماتيس فريد الأطرش وفيروز التي كانت لها مكانة كبيرة في قلب الملك. We used to watch her films and um, listen to her music and it was such a joy when she came and sang at the Jarash festival, one of the early festivals in, in, uh, that we held here in Jordan. She is an extraordinary uh, Arab. Uh, icon and um, what joy she's given and, and how she's expressed the, the, the longing, the yearning, the, the pride, but also the, the agony of, of Lebanon and of the Arab world in her music. كانت نور حياته ولأنها تعتبره موجودا دائما في حياتها 
ترفض أن ينطفي النور. My life, by the grace of God, is what it is, and I take each day as it comes, and I'm thankful for uh, my blessings. I'm thankful for our family. I'm thankful. Uh, and, as, and celebrate the life of my husband and the time that I was privileged to, to, um, to, to share with him and uh, for every moment that, that um, I'm, I consider a, a, a um, blessing من الله and, um, and a responsibility to do what I can كانت هي والأمراء حمزة وهاشم وريا وإيمان نور حياته نورا لا يخبو لأنهم سيكملون مسيرته وعلى خطاه سيسيرون. I now have eight children. I have two beautiful daughters-in-law and two grandchildren. So that's eight. All of our children uh, were inspired and, and, and you know, clear day by day um, reveal in their work or in their choices and their hopes and aspirations uh, a, the, the example of their of their father um, of both of us inshallah um, they are all they all feel a, a weight of responsibility to to contribute uh, to to Jordan to its welfare to um, their um, Arab and, and Muslim heritage لم يبحث يوما عن الحل السهل حتى عندما علم بإصابته بمرض السرطان صيف 1998 لم يكن صعبا عليه مفاتحة شعبه بما يعتبره الكثيرون من المحرمات. In a checkup at the Mayo Clinic, um, they diagnosed him with um, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Um, that of course was an enormous shock for for all of us. He took that you know, horrible news and against the advice of more traditional um, people around him here and, and, and who were with us in, 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 um, on, on the trip, he made it public right away. Um, and, and he did so because his belief was that, uh, that, that he had a, a compact, a, a, a an ex- very special relationship with the people of Jordan and that it was based on trust and, and mutual respect and, and, um, and, and so in that vein he shared the news معها قرر مواجهة المرض كما أي معركة أخرى خاضاها معا but he also from that day forward we I think as we were sitting when he first came out of the anesthesia and we were sitting together and and I had, you know, the, the doctor and I had to share it with him. Um, the doctor left the room, and, and, and we embarked on, um, you know, the, the, uh, another um, of the many battles that he, he'd fought in, in, in his life, this one far more personal than, than, than the others. Did but, he express fears to you? Um, he did not, bur- he, he would never have wanted to burden me or anyone with the weight of his fears. I felt how he was feeling throughout much of this process, but we talked about the battle. We were waging a battle against this disease and and also finding whatever constructive ways we could use our destiny to be fighting this battle to help others as well. And we did not focus on on, on the fears as much. We, we focused on how we could channel everything we had towards his healing and recovery. I, I, I'm sure I did the best that I could do. I mean, I was, it was my central focus and, um, and it was also one of the most enriching um, spiritually and um, in, in other ways period of my life to go through that with him. I think we both uh, reached a, a, a whole new level of understanding of our faith and, and our relationship with the Almighty and, and, um, and, and, and to the extent that I, um, I, 
I was blessed with extraordinary, uh, at least I felt, uh, more faith than I had ever felt in my life before, even when we lost him, rather than my faith being shaken. I, and that carried me through, um, you know, a long time after. It's hard to explain. I le- lost my fear of death at that time. Nur al Hussein. تكمل مشوار الحياة اليوم متسلحة بأهم شيء بالنسبة إلى ملك الحسين بن طلال. My husband always said uh, that the most important thing for him was to live with his conscience, and and this is what I remind my children over and over again and myself. Uh, the, the 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 most important thing is to is to live with your conscience. بدورنا. نأمل أن تكون قد استمتعتم بلقائنا الاستثنائي مع ملكة استثنائية إلى اللقاء